huge achievement for Willie. Um, you know, a guy that you know worked very hard to get to where he is, and I think uh, you know deserves the the plaudits he's got. He's been a fantastic servant, not only for Australian rugby, but for Queensland rugby when he, when I was there with him. And um, look, first memory, obviously, I remember he, I went to school with Will. I played with his older brother, so I remember when he was a little. Uh, Little fat kid in grade eight. We used to nickname him Pooh Bear because he looked like Winnie the Pooh. So um, yeah, look, I, that, that's probably my first memory of Willie when he was. I think he was in grade eight when I was a senior at BBC. So uh, yeah, fantastic achievement though, and uh, yeah, it's great to see him. He's come a, a long way since then. What do you think you would have uh, said if someone had told you Pooh Bear would go on to play a hundred tests for Australia? Oh look, I think he was always a very good rugby player. He, um, but yeah, look, it's it's probably something uh, certainly a surprise to probably himself. Uh, and everyone, but I think it's a fantastic achievement. He, you know, there's no one who's worked harder. You see that. You speak to everyone. His work ethic is is second to none. He works very hard at his own game and his fitness, and he's come back from injuries. He's uh, so yeah, his resilience to be able to get there, and I think it's a great achievement for him and being able to someone that's been able to do it. Hopefully, at a you know, in a fantastic venue like Twickenham, um, you know, is a, should be a big day for for all Australian rugby. And I mean, 100 tests only only 10 guys in Australian history have ever done it. Um, where do you think he kind of sits in, in terms of the players that you've played with and, and great players in Australian rugby? Well, look, he's up there with some of the great halfbacks. We've, we've been very lucky in Australian hit rugby history that we've had a lot of very good number nines to play uh, for the Wallabies. So he certainly, you know, he'd certainly be in that conversation. And anyone who plays 100 tests, it's not, you know, it's not a fluke. You, you, you've got to be good and you've got to be consistently good. And that's what he's shown. And I think that's, uh, that's been the most pleasing thing for him, I'm sure. Is there any game um, or any memory of him, you know, that really sticks out for you? Oh, look, that try is obviously a, a pretty big one. Um, you know, he, he, that was sort of individual brilliance from his part. I don't think anyone else sort of had anything to do with it. He saw the opportunity and I didn't, you know, as I said, I didn't think he was going to get that. I didn't know he had the gas, but uh, he proved me wrong, so which was great. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's a real competitor, real feisty little little bugger like that. All good, all good number nine should be. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's probably the, the moment that sticks out. It's probably the, the moment for most people that probably sticks out as well.